If you walk into any commercial gym, you'll likely see most men training either chest or biceps. It seems everyone wants a big set of arms and a big chest, and who's to blame them? These muscle groups look great and they can set your physique apart from the rest. That's why hundreds, if not thousands of videos on YouTube talk about how you can grow your arms, from the anatomy of the biceps to the best exercises you can do to grow big guns. If you're interested in learning more about the anatomy and biomechanics of the biceps, we recommend you check out a video we made covering the best three bicep exercises for mass. But for those of you that are looking to add more dumbbell bicep exercises to their routine and understand the science behind these recommendations, then this video is for you. Today, we're sharing with you six dumbbell exercises that will undoubtedly add more inches to your biceps. But before we jump on specific exercises, let's go over some of the basics of bicep training. When it comes to bicep training, you have so-called experts trying to make it seem way more complicated than it is. And then you have the minimalists who say you can grow big biceps by just doing pull-ups. From our experience, the truth is generally somewhere in the middle. Let's start with what bicep training is all about. Elbow flexion, essentially bringing your lower arm towards your shoulder. This is the usual curling action you see at the gym. Your arm starts in an extended position and you use your elbow flexors, which are your biceps and brachialis, to curl the weight up and bring your elbow to you. Sounds simple, right? It is, but that doesn't mean you can't mess it up. It's common to see people at the gym use too much momentum or cheat on their reps. Now that you know the main function of the biceps, what kind of exercises should you include? There are no hard rules, but these guidelines will help you select exercises that fully target the biceps. Number one, choose one mass building exercise where you can lift big loads through the full range of motion, like a barbell or dumbbell bicep curl. Number two, include exercises that load the peak contraction, the top portion of the curl, like spider curls. Number three, include exercises that load the biceps in a stretched position, like incline dumbbell curls. Number four, include exercises that load the supination function of the biceps, like dumbbell twist curls. You may also want to include hammer curl variations to target more of the brachialis, another elbow flexor muscle that sits underneath the bicep and can increase the width and girth of your arms. On a side note, because the long head of the bicep also aids in shoulder flexion, you can get some indirect bicep work in other exercises like chest flies or back movements. Finally, you don't need to cover all these variations in one single workout. Instead, you can have different bicep exercises in your routine and rotate them every couple of weeks or months to ensure you're fully training your biceps. Now that you understand what biceps training is all about, let's delve into some specific exercises. Number one, dumbbell bicep curl. Starting off the list, we have a fan favorite, the dumbbell bicep curl. On the surface, this exercise may seem pretty straightforward, but there are some details you should be mindful of if you're looking to get the most out of your biceps training. The dumbbell bicep curl is a great alternative to the usual barbell or easy bar curl as a mass building exercise for your biceps, especially if you don't have access to these or feel some wrist discomfort. More so, it can also be done unilaterally to correct for asymmetries. Another benefit of using dumbbells is that you can use a neutral or supinated grip and shift the tension to other areas of your bicep. For example, the short head of the biceps aids in supination or rotation of the forearm to turn your palm upward. Knowing this, by slightly turning your palm outward at the end of each rep, pointing your pinky fingers toward the ceiling, you can get more bicep supination and put more tension on the short head of the biceps. There are many ways to get good at curls. Let's cover some things to keep in mind when training your biceps. First, leave your ego at the door. Choose a weight that you can do eight to 20 reps with good technique. This means no swinging and cheating on reps. People get too caught up in how much weight they're lifting, which leads to form breakdown, taking tension away from the biceps and into other muscles like the shoulders and lower back. You want your body to remain stable and focus on squeezing the biceps to move the weight up. Next, control the eccentric part of the movement. Don't let gravity do all the work. Control the weight on the way down to get the most out of your sets. Lastly, keep your elbows close to your body during the movement and curl with the full range of motion. This means extending your arms at the bottom and curling up, squeezing the biceps on each repetition. Number two, incline dumbbell curl. Next up is the incline dumbbell curl. When it comes to fully developing your biceps, you need to include exercises that train both heads of the biceps. Exercises where the upper arm is held behind the body, like the dumbbell incline curl, are great to target the long head of the biceps, also known as the outer peak, as it places it in a greater position of stretch compared to the short head. In other words, the long head has to generate more force to move the weight up. Regarding the angle of the bench, you can adjust this to personal preference and see where you get the most stimulus or least discomfort in your shoulders. You may also include a slight twist at the top to add some wrist supination and get more bicep engagement with each rep. Number three, dumbbell spider curl. 
Now that we've covered one exercise that places a fairly even amount of tension on both heads of the biceps, and one that focuses more on the long head, it's time to include an exercise that places more emphasis on the short head of the biceps. Like the dumbbell incline curl, you want to use a bench, but instead of laying your back against it, you'll be lying on your chest. Also, by having the upper arm in front of your body, this exercise places more tension on the short head of the biceps. More specifically, the spider curl places more tension on the biceps at the top range, where the biceps are in their most contracted state, making them an effective exercise to grow the short inner head of the biceps. Number four, dumbbell preacher curl. Still emphasizing the short head of the biceps, the dumbbell preacher is another amazing option as it places your upper arm in front of the body while removing any momentum. In other words, you can't swing your body to get the weight up. Thus, most of the tension will be going to your biceps. For this exercise, you wanna fully extend your arm at the bottom, get a good stretch on the biceps, and then squeeze the biceps on the way up. Number five, dumbbell crossbody hammer curl. Number five on the list is the dumbbell crossbody hammer curl, which targets more of the brachialis, the muscle that sits underneath the biceps and makes your arms look bigger as it pushes the biceps brachii up and out. This variation is similar to a hammer curl. Here you'll want to move the dumbbell across the body to reduce wrist supination and emphasize the brachialis, especially at the start of the movement. By doing each arm at the same time, you can get a great contraction and a good squeeze on the brachialis muscle. Number six, reverse grip dumbbell curl. Lastly, on the list is the reverse grip dumbbell curl. This exercise targets more of the brachioradialis, a muscle in your forearm that contributes to the visual effect of big, well-developed arms. In this exercise, you'll be using a pronated grip, which means palms facing down and focusing on turning your wrist outward at the end of each rep, driving the pinky down towards the ground and squeezing as much as possible as you curl up. If done correctly, you'll feel your forearm during this exercise while getting some good biceps activation. There you have it, six dumbbell-only biceps exercises that will add some mass to your arms. To get the best results possible, include exercises that emphasize different areas of the biceps and combine other exercises with either barbells or cables to fully develop your biceps. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll genuinely help out the channel. If your training and nutrition are in order and you're looking for a bit of an edge, be sure to check out my science-based supplement line. Each product was created using scientifically proven ingredients, all clinically dosed and guaranteed to produce results. And right now you can get 25% off your entire order, plus free shipping by using coupon code MONSTER at checkout. So head over to musclemonsters.com supplements or click the link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.